it's the possibility for adventure. I think yeah. even if it's just my daily driver and I'm driving it around every day, it's just the mm-hmm. idea that you know it's it's fun, it's yeah. awesome, um, and continuing that tradition. I think that the Land Rover brand represents to me that possibility for adventure, um, risk taking, the um, limitless possibilities. You know that the that you could do anything in it. You know the kind of the world is your oyster, um, and when you get sucked into the day to day and kind of the you know all the things that life brings on a kind of a day to day basis, you've always got the possibility that this you know you could just put a rooftop tent on it and drive it across the country and have an amazing time. Um, we've done that a lot with our different Land Rovers over the years, both as a child and you know as an adult. And the times, like the memories that I have that are the most important and that I look back on and treasure are, there always seems to be a Land Rover in it. There always seems to be, you know, something. There's either a Land Rover that we've taken across country several times, you know, with a rooftop tent or um, around Europe. And, you know, my fondest memories are, you know, as a child, literally being taught, um, homeschooled in the back of our Land Rover for two years. I mean, that was incredible you know and those so those are the things I look back on that I'm like that's that's really it kind of makes your life complete and it's sure, yeah. kind of weird to think that a car could do that there's something unique about them for sure this Land Rover means the world to my family I think it represents that I've now been able to kind of take it on as the next generation I think it represents to me um, the continued sense of possibility for adventure, um, risk taking, kind of all the things that that my parents did with Land Rovers, you know, that I, as a Land Rover owner of many, many different ones, um, have tried to continue. And then, especially with this one, kind of carrying that on, you know, that sense of um, never quite knowing what's coming around the corner I think yeah. even if it's just my daily driver and I'm driving it around every day it still represents um, you know it's not easy it's it's just the idea that it's fun it's yeah. awesome um, and continuing that tradition so Core 72 started I've had it now for about 10 years we kind of came up with the idea or I came up with the idea about 11 or 12 years ago um, had spent <clears throat> going back to driving across country and um, I would go for three months and camp and just kind of cross the country and as a result of that I would be inspired by so many of like the little shops and kind of the the feeling of the west versus home and a little bit of a laid-back atmosphere and sense of adventure and outdoors and you know that kind of active lifestyle so when the time came I was inspired to open Core 72 as a way to bring a little bit of that West Coast feel to Washington and had originally designed you know thought that it would be like a just women technical outdoor active wear that would inspire people to get outside and be adventurous and go off trail and run around um, and it has evolved but it still has that same core exactly you know it, it always wanted like a little local community oriented shop that um, you know I would know the customers they would know us we would inspire each other um, and then Almost the what we sold was secondary to creating that sense of kind of community and um, again like a little bit of a laid back but professional store in DC. The the Land Rover has definitely become our unofficial store mascot. 
for sure. I do find that, that wherever I am in DC, people either know me through the Land Rover and then via the store. So I park it in front of the store and then they know I'm in this shop that day or we make a lot of deliveries for the shop and so I use this as my way to make deliveries and take things to people and it's, um, I think it represents the store in a really positive, unique way. I will always have Land Rovers. We'll always have Land Rovers. I'll always have this. This will be with me for the rest of my life. Currently have another LR4 and I will always have Land Rovers. There could be a green Defender in there somewhere. There could be a green. <laughs> I have had many Land Rovers. I've had a, a Defender 90, which my father now has, and I've had a 110. Um, this one I think has been one of my favorites, but I would definitely welcome the 90 back into the family. <laughs> Right. For sure. So there's no question, as you can see for yourself looking around this place, that if you want to have your Land Rover done, this is Land Rover heaven. You come here and talk to Dean and you can, and my basement is a miniature of this, where I have pieces everywhere and I can come here and it's a dream world because I can see them all in their in their parts and pieces and all taken apart and it's just heaven. So, um, I'm happy. Um, he's done a superb job with this vehicle as well as my Defender and, um, and my Range Rover and it's top of the line and, and the service is fantastic and, uh, and uh, if, you're, if you have Lane Rovers as a uh, second career which I do, uh, he's, the, he's the guide on the mountain that you go to for advice. Yes. <laughs>